Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Claude.md file using Claude Code. This tutorial assumes that you already have Claude Code installed, but if you do not, I will leave a link in the description to a tutorial where I walk you through how to install Claude Code. First, we'll look at what is a Claude.md file. Then I'll explain why it is that you might want to use a Claude.md file. Then I'll show you how to create one. And I'm going to use a real world example where I create a Claude.md file in my Obsidian Vault projects folder. So what is a Claude.md file? Well, we know that a .md file extension stands for markdown. So a Claude.md file is just a special markdown file used by Claude Code. You can think of a Claude.md file as the project brief. It contains the instructions or the rules, all of the details about the directory or the folder that you open with Claude Code. So a Claude.md file, this is just a markdown file to give you full control. So you can train Claude and set up guardrails or set up guidelines and rules on how you want it to work with your project folders and files. This is just a sample Claude.md file. But I might include things like, who am I? What role do I have in this project? What is this project about? How do I want Claude code to help me with this project? And what are some of the details of the tools that I'm using in this project? They are not required. But why would you want to use Claude.md files when you are using Claude code? Without a Claude.md configuration file, when you open a directory or folder using Claude code, Claude is treating that session as a blank slate. It has no context about the project. So if you were to ask it to generate a tutorial outline about whatever the topic was in that folder, Claude is just going to guess. It's going to do its best. Now, if you open that same directory or folder and you do have a Claude.md configuration file, now when you ask Claude to generate a tutorial outline, it is going to read through your Claude.md file and say, okay, how does Mike like his tutorial outlines? Oh, here is his video script format. I'm just going to follow this. To create a Claude.md configuration file using Claude code, First, open a directory or folder in Terminal if you're on a Mac or Command Line if you're on Windows. I'm going to open an Obsidian Vault. An Obsidian is just a note-taking app. To open this Mic Sample Vault directory or folder in a Mac Terminal window, all I have to do is just right-click on it, go to Services, and select New Terminal at Folder. I can confirm right here that I'm in the right directory. So now I want to run Claude code. To do that, all I have to do is simply type out Claude, C-L-A-U-D-E, I'll tap return. Yes, I want to proceed. So since it's selected, I can just tap return to commit. So now Claude code is running and has access to everything in the mic sample vault. Now check this out. Tips for getting started, which you see every time you run Claude code and you probably gloss right over it. But the very first tip is exactly what we are doing in this tutorial. The tip says, run forward slash init to create a Claude.md file with instructions for Claude. How cool is that? So here we go. We're going to run the forward slash init command to create a Claude.md file so we can give instructions on how we want Claude code to interact with our project directory. So put your cursor in the text prompt area, tap the forward slash, that's right under the question mark. When you do that, you're gonna start seeing a bunch of different commands that start with the forward slash. But we're doing init, I-N-I-T, and there we can see the init command, tap return. So right now, it is analyzing the entire project and it is creating a Claude.md file. This bullet point right here pretty much sums up Claude.md files perfectly. So when you run the forward slash init command, you are telling Claude code to analyze the entire project directory or code base. Same thing. Learn it. Understand the structure of this directory 
And then I want you to create a claw.md file. This is just a markdown file that contains the essential information about this directory. So whenever you open up this directory using Claude code, it has all of the information already. So once Claude code creates the Claude.md file in the terminal, in order to save it in the project directory or folder, just go down to the bottom. Do you want to create Claude.md? I'm going to tap two for yes, allow all edits during this session. Claude code created a Claude.md file for my Obsidian Vault. And it gives a little highlight or an overview of the document. And if I open up a finder window, twirl open my Obsidian folder, twirl open my sample vault, there is my new Claude.md configuration file. And this is all Markdown, so I can just open this in a Markdown editor such as Typora. This is a working document. The goal of this document is to help you get better results when you're working with Claude code. So the more specific information and the more rules and guidelines that you put in this Claude.md file, the better results that you're going to get from Claude code. Maybe you are using Claude code to help you write YouTube descriptions or podcast scripts, but it keeps doing things that don't really fit with your writing style. We well, could write a little section here. We'll use two hashtags for an H2 tag. I'll put writing rules. Use emojis and M dashes sparingly. It is your notepad. So anytime you think a thing, you can jot it down or you can even have Claude code just add it for you. So you can just say, add a section in Claude.md file for YouTube rules. Added a YouTube rules section, and just like that, in a matter of seconds, Claude Code added this YouTube rules section to my Claude.md file. And now for a bonus pro keyboard shortcut tip. For an even easier way to add things to your Claude.md file when you are working in Claude Code, you can use the hashtag or the number symbol to add something to memory in Claude Code. Let me show you how this works. With my cursor in the prompt field, I'm just going to type out the hashtag or the number symbol. So shift three. As soon as I do that, you'll see a little tooltip is telling me I'm about to add something to memory. So I can put anything I want to add to my Claude.md file here. So I'm just going to type out, do not use angle brackets when writing YouTube descriptions. Okay. So now all I have to do is just tap return and I'm going to have to make a decision here. So you can choose whether you want to add it to the user memory. So this is saving it in the main Claude file, or you can save it to the project memory. And that's what we created today, the Claude.md file. And that's what I want to do. So the two is selected. I'm just going to tap return. Now Claude code just added my instructions to the Claude.md file. We only scratched the surface today on the Claude.md file, but there is a whole lot that you can do in the Claude.md files. I'm going to leave a link to this Anthropic article, which is going to give you a lot more ideas on what you can do with the Claude.md file. Just a couple things that I want to highlight. The name of the file itself does matter. So you want to use all capital Claude.md, but inside there is no required format. So you could have a nice and neat template that you always use, or it could just be a random stream of consciousness. But as you can see here, Anthropic recommends that you keep them concise and human readable. You can also place a Claude.md configuration or a rules file in several locations. In today's tutorial, we placed or created the Claude.md file in the root of our repo. And repo, same thing if we said directory or folder. The purpose of this Claude.md file is to give Claude code instructions or guidelines on how we want it to work with the contents of our repo or our directory. The Claude.md file that we created today, however, only applies to this repo. So if we were to open Claude code using another directory, we are going to have to create another Claude.md file and give that project instructions. But there might be rules that you want Claude Code to use for all Claude Code sessions, regardless of the directory or the repo. And for that, you can create a Claude.md file in your home folder. 
This Claude.md file works the same way, only it applies to all Claude code sessions. So every time you run Claude code, Claude is going to look at this Claude.md file in your home folder. This is basically the global rules for all of your Claude code sessions. When we use the hashtag to add something to memory, remember Claude code asked us, do you want to add this to the Claude.md file in your user memory? So this is the home folder. This is the global settings that affects all Cloud Code sessions. Or do you want to add it to the Claude.md file in the project memory? So this is the local repo or directory. In closing, Claude.md files are just a markdown file that gives guidance or instructions to Claude when you are using Claude code. The easy way to create the Claude.md file and simply type in the init command by entering forward slash INIT. This tells Claude code to analyze everything that is in the project directory or folder. Learn the structure, understand how everything works, and then create a Claude.md file with all of the essential information for that project. Now forward slash init is the easy way because Claude code does all of the heavy lifting, but you don't actually have to use Claude code to create the file itself. Because it's just a markdown file, you can use your favorite markdown editor and all you have to do is just make sure that you save the file as capital Claude.md and just put the things that you want in that file and just place it in any project directory. And when you open that using Claude code, as long as it sees that Claude.md file, Claude is going to honor it and it's going to use whatever it is that you put in that file. And you can also just copy and paste Claude.md files from one directory to another. So if you created a Claude.md file for one project and you think it'll work great for another, you don't have to create a new one. Just simply copy and paste it into that other directory. And that is how to create a Claude.md configuration file in Claude code. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.